Lessons: Basic and Essential Knowledge for Playing. Parts of the Electric Bass. One, body. This is the largest part of the bass guitar. In the body, you'll find the following: bridge. This is where the strings are attached. Pickups. The magnetic pickups convert the vibrations of the strings to an electrical signal that can be recorded or amplified. Volume and tune controls knobs. You can control the overall loudness of the pickups by using the volume knob, while the tone knob is used to switch between a brighter or a more muffled sound quality. Strap pins. This is where the strap is attached. Jack socket. This is where the cable or cord is plugged in. Two, neck, fingerboard. This is the flat side of the neck that holds the frets. Frets. These are the lines or the strips of metal embedded along the fingerboard. Three, head, headstock, nut. This is where the strings lie at the end of the neck and holds them in place. Tuning heads or machine heads holds the end of the strings. This is where you can increase or decrease the pitch of the strings. How to tune the bass guitar. Tuning the bass can be a challenging part for most beginners, since their ears may not yet be able to recognize specific pitches. The best way to tune your bass correctly is to use an electronic tuner. An electronic tuner is a worthwhile investment, and it is the preferred way of tuning the bass. Since it is more accurate than tuning by ear. How to hold the bass guitar? How to play bass guitar sitting down? This is usually the best position for beginner players. You will be able to play in a more relaxed position since your arms, back, and hands won't tense up because of the weight of the bass. One, use a stool or a chair without armrests. Two, you can play without the strap. But it is usually much more comfortable to play with it. Three, rest your bass on your right thigh. How to play bass guitar standing up? Playing in this position can be more difficult, but will become easier once fretting and picking becomes a relaxed and unconscious action to you. One, make sure that your strap is attached securely to the strap pins. Adjust the strap so that the body of the bass hangs around your stomach area, and the neck pointing approximately 45 degrees upward. Two, this seems to be the ideal playing position for most players, although you can't adjust the bass to a position that you are comfortable with. Three, let the bass hang freely from your shoulder. Left hand tips, fretting tips. You will use your four fingers for fretting, numbered one to four. From your index finger first to your pinky finger fourth, rest your thumb lightly on the back of the neck, pointing it upwards. It will help your fingers in fretting the strings against the fretboard. The wrist should not be overly bent. Some degree of bending is okay as long as it does not tense up the arm, wrist, or hand. Right hand tips, picking with a plectrum. You need to find the right type of pick. Use heavy and medium gauge picks for bass. Thin picks are usually used for guitar. One, hold the pick between the thumb and the first finger (index finger) of the right picking hand. Two, use the tip of the pick, the pointed end, for picking. Three, the most basic picking strokes you'll need to learn is the down stroke, where you push the tip of the pick down against the string. An upstroke is where you pull the tip of the pick upward to pluck the string. Alternate picking is the combination of downstrokes and upstrokes. Finger style picking tips: one, keep your plucking hand, wrist, and arm relaxed. Two, there are two positions you can use when using finger style picking. Some players like to rest their thumb on a pickup, while others rest their forearms on the bass body and let their right hand hang freely. Resting the thumb ever so slightly on the fourth string E. The first method uses the thumb as the fulcrum to put power into your plucking, while the second one uses wrist movements to put power into your plucking. Three, while you can use all of your fingers to pluck the strings, it is recommended that beginners use only the first finger, index finger, and your second finger, middle finger, for plucking. Use them alternately. Four. 
Let your fingers roll over the top of the strings. How to play reading notation. We will start with only the basic symbols and terminologies necessary for you to be able to read musical notation of popular songs. Some songs have a lot more symbols, but those are more suitable for intermediate to advanced players. Once you are able to master the basics, you can move on to the next level and study another set of symbols and terminologies. Basic Musical Symbols and Notations The Staff The staff is made up of five horizontal lines with four spaces. This is where musical symbols are written. Each lines and spaces corresponds to letters of the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The Clef the clef is a musical symbol written at the beginning of the staff. This will help you identify the pitch of the notes written on the staff. The difference between G clef and F clef. The G clef or the treble clef, it is used for higher pitched instruments like piccolo, flute, oboe, clarinet, and trumpet. F clef or the bass clef, this is used for lower pitched notes like bass, timpani, contrabass, cello, and trombone. The treble clef always starts on letter C, while the bass clef always starts on letter E. Since bass guitar is a low-pitched instrument, we're going to focus more on reading notes on F clef or the bass clef. Sharp and flat. The sharp sign looks very similar to the number sign. You will often find this after the F clef or beside the note. This sign means that note is a half step higher or one fret up. The flat symbol. Looks like a small letter B. You will often find this after the F clef or beside the note. This sign means lower in pitch. The sign means that note is a half step lower or one fret down. Musical Notations and Rests In this section, you need to memorize each note and rest counts. The value of a note indicates its duration or how long it should ring out. Rests indicate the duration of silence or how long you should pause. How to count. Beginners will find it easier to count notes out loud and slowly. It is also recommended that you tap your foot along to the counts, though this should be eliminated as you progress. Counting should be done internally once it becomes natural to you. Dotted note. A note or a rest with a dot beside it is called a dotted note. When you see a dotted note or dotted rest, this means you will have to increase or add a beat that is half the value of the note or rest that is dotted. For example, a half note has two beats. If it is a dotted half note, you need to add one more beat, which gives a dotted half note a total of three counts or beat. Repeat symbol. You will see this symbol on the beginning of the bar line. Bar lines are the lines that divides the staff and at the end of the staff. If you see this symbol, you will need to repeat the section from the first repeat symbol. At the upper part of the end of the bar line, it is indicated there how many times you need to repeat it. Time signatures. Time signature will help you identify how many beats are in each measure. Time signatures are located right after the clef. The lower number indicates the note value, which that is equivalent to one beat. The upper number indicates how many of these notes are in one measure. Downbeat. Downbeat is the first beat in a measure. Downbeat is measured by the downward stroke of the conductor's baton at the beginning of the song or measure. Reading tablature tips. What is a tablature? Tablature, or tabs for short, is another method of writing music made for fretted stringed instruments like guitar and bass. Tabs will tell you the exact location of the note that you're going to play, but some tab forms that can be found online will not tell you the duration or the note counts. How to read tabs. 1. Bass tabs will have four lines corresponding to the four strings of your bass. Some bass tabs will have more lines because some basses have more than four strings. The topmost line is the G string, the thinnest string, and the bottom line is the E string, the thickest string. 2. The numbers indicate the fret number and it is written on the string where it should be played. Following the example above, place your finger to fret the string on the third fret of the A string, then use the next finger to press the same string at the fifth fret 
and so on. Zero indicates an open string, which means you just need to pluck on the string without fretting anything. Tabs are read from left to right.